Pikachu. It is everywhere. Even if you're not familiar with any Pokemon media, you're likely to know this creature and what it is. You know that Pikachu is a Pokemon, and that is fantastic. But of course, since Game Freak, the developers of Pokemon, saw the success of their mascot Pikachu, they have attempted to make similar Pokemon to try to get them as famous as Pikachu for their new games. From all the way back to Gen 2 with Mario, all the way to more Peko in Sword and Shield, we have gotten new Pikachu clones in every game. They are always electric rodents with the same style as Pikachu, except for Mario, which is a water type. Well, because we are making a Pokemon region, it is time to make our own Pikachu clone for Pokemon Conquer and Discovery. But at first, I have an idea for a true stage evolution based on a cappuccino monkey. Alright, so cacao was very important for pre-Hispanic people. And there is even a pre-Hispanic legend about how the monkey had a role in the creation of the cacao that is something even the gods enjoyed. I had trouble thinking in the pose of the Pokemon and then I had the idea of making the cocoa bean being part of its tail. Also I wanted it to do with music and sound, so I made it work like a maraca. And those are the origins of Moncoa, from Monkey and Cocoa, a normal and grass type. The normal type is because most sound related things in Pokemon are represented with a normal type. It loves collecting Cocoa and coffee beans to throw to their enemies. Inside its tail, its storage is to see its eat. It likes to shake its tail to make sound. Moncoa's abilities are soundproof and limber. The shiny form has to do with the white cappuccino monkeys and how they look. So from Mexico to Argentina, there it is a species of monkey which can make some powerful sounds. The howler monkey is so loud that it can be heard from 4.8 kilometers away, or in miles that would be 3 miles away. And also, they range from 128 decibels all the way up to 140. Here, give it a listen. I had a hard time coming up with the final design for this one, but here we have Haukoa from Howl and Cocoa, a normal and grass type. This Pokemon is competitive and quite territorial. They attack by shooting a very powerful roar which can do physical damage. They have wood-like interiors that can resonate a lot of sound. The bigger the tip of its tail, the more sound it produces. It now has rivalry as an ability because howler monkey males like competing with other males to see how long and loud can they howl. Alright, now back to the Pikachu clone. It has to be a rodent, so I decided to make it a capybara, which is the largest rodent in the world. So Pikachu clones are always electric type, but recently they have become mixed with other types, like electric flying or electric steel. A fun fact is that capybaras are really fast and they can run fast from predators. Really fast. They can run up to 35 km per hour, which are 21.75 meter miles per hour. Also, they fight each other in a bipedal way, that is why I made it a fighting type. Capiken comes from the Japanese words for capybara and fighting, because Pikachu clones always maintain their Japanese name. It's an electric and fighting type. This Pokemon likes to fight with others from the same species, 
and they are really fast even though they are quite big. They can rub their pinky cheeks to electrify their fists, powering them up. Pikachu clones tend to have interesting game mechanics, so this Pokemon has rivalry, scrappy, and the hidden ability is this new I created. Advantage, which raises the attack if the Pokemon is attacked by the same type attack. If it gets hit by a fighting or an electric type, it raises the attack to stages, basically. So here we have some new Pokemon for the Huesa region. Leave a comment about Pokemon you would like to see next. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Check my other video from this series if you haven't already and subscribe to stay tuned. In the next episode we are going to decide more regional variant Pokemon, so ring the bell to get notified when I post that video. The designs in today's episode will be posted in my Instagram, which I will link in the description down below. You can also see sneak peeks or advances I make to the Pokemon. Share this video with a friend to support my channel and thanks so much for watching. See you all in the next video.